Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time it is while you're watching this. And uh, in this review, I'm going to be talking about some non-bike kit that you can use on a bike, and mainly to keep you warm in winter. I ride all year round, apart from if it's snowy or icy, and I've ridden in some fairly extreme conditions, the worst of which was actually below minus 20 in the UK, and there wasn't any ice on the ground, it was too cold. That was a freak weather event. Anyway, one of my other sports I used to do before my accident was scuba diving. And uh, again, in the UK, it can get fairly cold. In winter, I've dived in an air temperature of minus 8 and a water temperature of 2, which most people would say is chuffing cold. If you didn't wear a wetsuit, you wore a dry suit, and under it, you would wear some extra thermal stuff. So, in the best tradition of the Marvel superheroes, DC superheroes and stuff, I'm going to do a quick change in the style of, rather embarrassingly, Wonder Woman. Well, that's made me dizzy. Anyway, resplendent in a bright orangey yellow weasel extreme undersuit. These are very, very warm. I hardly ever use this one, apart from when I was diving in really, really cold conditions and doing some quite long duration dives, because I don't feel the cold that much and this got far too hot. I do have another one, a Weasel Compact, which is the one that I recommend. The problem with that one is black. And uh, as we've seen on other videos, black on black does not make for a very good video. You're lucky that you're only seeing the top half of this. It is an all-in-one, as it's also been called by a friend of mine, a onesie. I've also used the compact version, the black one, for when I've been doing some uh, all-night astronomy, uh, 14 hours, um, well below zero in December a few years ago, doing some astro imaging, and uh, yeah, it kept me really, really snug. So I'm going to go the other way around now and change into something else. Well, that's slightly more sensible attire. A fourth element uh, two-piece. This is uh, full sleeve length, as you can see, and it's. Um, a form-fitting, feels like a very thin t-shirt. When you first put them on they feel a bit chilly to be honest, but uh, after a minute they warm up and they keep you really snug. Again, I've worn this when diving in uh, moderately extreme circumstances under a weasel compact. Now these are, like I say, a t-shirt sort of thickness. A weasel compact is more like a sweatshirt. It's like a, a onesie sweatshirt if you like. It covers your entire torso legs, arms, the whole lot, and uh, they have stirrups in them so that you can actually put your feet in and keep them in uh, when you put your socks on. I put the socks over the top of mine when I was diving because it, it helps keep more heat in. The thing to remember if you're trying to keep warm, put the long sleeves on before anything like short sleeves. You'll have seen in all my videos I wear a long sleeve top under a short sleeve top. Reason being, if I ride in winter, like I'm at the moment, it's February 23 when I'm recording this, the long sleeves will actually keep the whole of your body and arms in the same garment without any extra air flowing through it. If you put the short sleeve one on first, that comes down to about here or so, the long sleeve one going over the top does give you a bit of air space for air to circulate up your sleeves and uh, it's, it's not as um, good at keeping the heat in as a long sleeve top first. Downside of these things, they're not cheap. If you put diving or motorbike on anything, you can put about a thousand percent markup on it. But they are very good. If you ride in winter, it's worth considering something like this. Or even... Just your normal thermal layer under a t-shirt. Anything you do that will keep you warm will help keep you concentrating and safe on the bike. So, if you ride in winter, it's very important to keep warm. When you don't want to turn your head because there's a cold draft or water coming down the back of your neck, it's really, really unpleasant. Your concentration levels drop, your safety drops, and once you start getting cold, things can turn quite horrible really quickly. You'll stop more often to warm up, your journey's going to take longer, it's going to be a real drag. So, start off slightly too warm and you'll end up better than being very, very cold. I've done some fairly extreme riding, um, overnight camping in Snowdonia in February at the Dragon Rally. 
keeping warm is very very important keeps everything else up there your your uh, concentration levels and awareness of what's going on around you obviously there's going to be links below to uh, this kit like I said it's not cheap so keep yourself warm up here there's going to be another video and down here there's going to be another one or a playlist or something I haven't decided yet while I'm recording this but either way have a look at them and enjoy Comments always welcome, positive or negative, they are all held for review, but I will reply to all of them, and uh, happy riding, even at this time of year in the middle of winter. One thing that I do need to mention though, is that some kit is completely unsuitable for riding in winter, such as when you're helping a friend move house, diving into the rag box and finding something matching and pink, and earning me the nickname Teddy Bear. Don't do this. Really don't.